What's up, monstrosities? We are back with a chamber discussion video. Now, now, daddy's home. Yes, chamber has finally joined the roster on the live servers. And what does that bring? Let's discuss. First, let's talk about what a new sentinel brings to the roster. Finally, we have our fourth sentinel that gives you an option of holding down a site. You don't really have to choose anymore between just the standard Cypher, Killjoy, or Sage. There are more options. Now, in the Sentinel role, how good is Chamber? Does Chamber push anybody out of a top pick for the Sentinel role? Well, unfortunately, or fortunately, because I kind of expected this, Chamber doesn't really offer anything grand in terms of being a sentinel. Now, yes, if you can hit your shots, that kind of helps. But honestly, that's the name of the game. Anybody can get a pick on a site and make sure that people don't push the attack. Chamber doesn't do that necessarily exceptionally well. Um, you just get guns and slow traps once they finally push onto the site. That still are breakable. Meanwhile, KJ has grenades to stop literally actually walking through you just get slowed with chamber you have an alarm bot that does double damage and tells you where people are coming from you have a turret that literally shoots for you and you have an ult that lets you retake or take a site cypher you have trips you have information which is Honestly, one of the most powerful things you can have in a game like this. And Sage, you have slows. You get a wall that literally will stop a push. And you get healing as well as being able to bring a teammate back. Chamber, unfortunately, when it comes to being a sentinel, there's nothing exceptional about being chamber versus the other picks. A lot of people were wondering if chamber will be the best sentinel. Well, honestly, it pains me to say this even though yes i have become a chamber main but chamber is probably the worst sentinel don't get me wrong still fun and that's not to say that chamber is an f tier character or anything like that but just when you need a sentinel pick you should not be picking chamber one of the other options is better for you now let's get into the next part of business with chamber everybody and their mom, always, when a new character comes out and screams, Oh my god, that's broken! That's OP! Well, I'm here to tell you, um, if you truly believe Chamber is OP, you're a little bit, uh, missing some screws there, but... Now, Chamber is balanced. Can a Chamber be strong? Presumably. Um, but what makes Chamber strong, Okay. Let's see, we have economy, manipulation, the fact that you will always have, or you should always have, at least one way to one-tap somebody. Whether that be your Q, you actually buying a Vandal, or, an, or your Op, or an Op. You should always have one way of one-shotting somebody, besides just having the full save on a pistol or something like that. Now, what else does Chamber do well? Chamber has great mm, repositioning. A lot of people were looking at this in the sense that it's like a better Yoru TP. Oh my gosh, you get to do X, Y, and Z. Well, you'll quickly realize when playing Chamber that the TP is good. It's not fantastic, but it's good. Now, yes, it's good in the sense that after you use an op, miss a shot, hit your shot, you get to reposition, stop trades from taking shots down long or anything like that. You get to reposition. But your TP and Chambers TP serve completely different functions. Yoru, you're looking to outplay. You're looking to make great distance. You're looking for more than just repositioning after taking a shot. Chambers activates faster, but with Yoru's, you pull your gun out faster. So, Chambers is a safety net. Yoru's is a, is a duelist. It's kicking ass, taking names, and trying to TP around the battlefield. Now, what's next in Chambers' arsenal? 
as to why people are saying, oh my God, that's OP. Well, you have a busted operator and a busted sheriff. Mm, I use busted loosely. The sheriff headhunter does feel good. Don't get me wrong. It does feel good to have that at almost all times. So that's a strong suit. And you'll find that in this game we love that having a weapon is probably the best thing that can happen for you at the moment. And the operator. Operator tour de force. It creates slow fields and it hits any part of the body as a one shot. You'll find that would be really great at holding and taking sights and being able to give your teammates extra economy for giving them a gun when you know that you'll have a gun. But I will say the downside with this is it's not an ult that you kind of want to use at willy nilly. If you already have a Vandal, do you really need to pull out the Tour de Force? That's something that I quickly realized playing that I don't necessarily need to then waste my ultimate just because with Killjoy's ult, you have two ways of using it. Like I said, either to take a sight or to retake a sight. And with Sages, it's almost always a good idea to be able to bring your teammate back. And with Cypher, it's almost always good to blow it to figure out where somebody is or where the team is. However, with Tour de Force, you don't necessarily want to always blow it. It's just another gun. It's just an operator that is guaranteed to kill on hit. So, let's talk about when you would use it, right? Use it when you can't afford a Vandal or something like that. Or you use it when you want to pass over said gun to your teammate. Or you know that you're going to take a fight down long. Now, let's say that you're in a situation where you know you're going to fight down long, but you didn't die last round and you already have a gun. Do you blow your ult on that? Personally, I never found a reason to. I trusted my aim on Vandal enough that if I was going to take a fight down long and I already had a gun, I wasn't going to pull out my toy force. Headhunter, on the other hand, it's always a good idea to have bullets in it. Pretty much all the time. Especially if you are on a light buy and you have a Spectre and you need to take a fight down long. It's a pretty good option. Two of the abilities are just guns. And that leads me to my next point. A lot of people are, oh my god, he's not really a sentinel. He's more of a duelist, isn't he? I've even seen somebody claim that he's more of an initiator. I don't see how people can get the initiator part. Um, have you ever tried to retake with the Sentinel? And especially the Sentinel, which is why I wanted to discuss this point so crucially. People with Duelist or Initiator have tools to push onto a site to gain space for their team. Chamber does not. You have a trap that has time to, you know, equip and then possibly get some information if you are at a doorway and want to see if somebody's on your right or your left, immediate left. Then, yes, you do have that going for you. But beyond that, not a single one of his tools is good for pushing on the site. The 24 are you really going to use your end-all be-all to hopefully get a pick? Or are you just going to use your gun that you should probably already have? Especially when it's basically an operator and not everybody is saucy with the operator. Same with the sheriff, the headhunter. It's just the sheriff. Two of those abilities are just guns that already exist that don't gain space for your team. The teleport has a range. You need to be able to see and probably peek to throw both of the anchors. And quite frankly, that's just all you have. 
it's always going to be tough to retake a site as a sentinel, but it's even harder with Chamber. At least with Cypher, who doesn't necessarily have a Molly like Killjoy or a wall like Sage to block off a site, at least Cypher has a camera so you can even see where you have to try to plan your route. With Chamber, you kind of just have to do all the peeking by yourself and all the gunplay by yourself. And another thing that I meant to touch on earlier when it comes to his TP is that everybody wanted to equate it to Yoru's, but on another note, you'll find that it's really easy for your TP to just not happen after you get one use out of it. Quickly, you'll find that both of your anchors need to, you know, be on the field for it to work. And I've seen some people go for some spicy plays and throw their TP anchor like way in the open. And of course, you get shy. And of course, they get shy because they drastically overestimated the time or underestimated the time to pull out their weapon. But quite frankly, you'll find a lot of time after you get your one reposition. And if you didn't stop the complete charge, your teleport will then be gone. And it will be put on a cooldown. With Yoru, at least you get to throw it a significant distance, or, you know, roll it, I guess, a significant distance. And it doesn't take two for it to let you teleport. And it's invisible at range. Sure, you can hear it in closer proximity, but it's invisible, and that helps a lot. You have to find it first to try to destroy it, and once you do, it immediately goes on cooldown. If Chamber, you should probably recall the other one after you make your teleport and one of them gets broken. So, yeah, Chamber is not a duelist. It's not any space for you to gain space. None of his abilities help you do that. And, frankly, Sentinel is the best role because he's really good at lurking. Honestly, I take his trap over almost any of the other utility when it comes to watching a flank. With an alarm box, you have to be within range. Turret, you know, also have to be in range. Trips, people can jump over, teleport past. And, well, Sage doesn't have any really flank-watching utility, so I guess it's better in that regard. But the little trademark, it works on both planes. You get to put it on top of little things, little cheeky little things. And overall, it's just probably the best utility you'll find for watching a flank. Because you're going to have to fly or teleport past it a significant distance. I don't even think you can fly past it or over it because it will detect you in the radius. So you have to teleport a significant distance for you to not get caught by it. So all in all, is Chamber a good agent and a new addition to the roster? Yes, Chamber's great. Don't let this fool you. Chamber is a fantastic agent. It's something that a lot of people were looking forward to. I, being a Yoru and Sentinel main... I really enjoy the character. It's exactly what I would want. Teleports as well as traps. It's awesome. But I think that people are going to quickly be disappointed by what they thought was coming with the character. For example, you won't be able to do all these quick rapid fire plays that a lot of people are looking forward to. It just is not in his kit to do so. I will say that the trademark is pretty good for covering your TP. You put those at places that people would have to come past to try to get you at your teleport, and you're almost perfectly fine nine times out of ten. Now, I'm not saying place it on top of your teleport. I'm saying place it on a path that they would have to pass through to come find you on your TP. And I guess that's the best tip I can give you right now. Um, there's a lot more things that 
I'm assuming it's common sense, but this isn't a chamber guide right now. This is just how good is chamber? Great character. Great addition to the roster. Offers something new. A different playstyle. A different playstyle to both the game overall and the Sentinel role. No longer does a Sentinel just have to be somebody tucked in a corner until somebody makes contact with the utility and swing out. You can take peeks and just redirect around the battlefield. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of Chamber. And, with that being said, peace out, monstrosities.